Welcome to this introductory video of the Ajax Foundation's course of Brains Karate. Before we start to talk about Ajax, let's take a look back to what we already know. This is your web app, and you have a search form. When you send the form, what we are doing is make an HTTP request to our server, we send some data and it will send back a response with the results, causing the reload of the page. The traditional HTTP requests have a big disadvantage in the performance of our applications. These kind of requests are synchronous. It means that the user has to wait for the response of the server or keep interacting in the web app. But how it works when you are on Facebook and you receive notifications instantly? When you are in Twitter and you can scroll down and load more and more tweets automatically? When you like our videos on YouTube or Facebook and it updates instantly without reload the page? Well, all this is possible thanks to a technology called AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Asynchronous is the opposite of synchronous. While in a traditional HTTP request everything stops until the server responds, the AJAX requests are, are sent without the need of wait for a response. The user can keep interacting with the web app and only when the response is received from the server, the app does something with the received data. AJAX allows us to send and receive data from the server using JavaScript. We can interact with the server in real time without the need of reload the page. The data sent in the AJAX records used to be formatted in XML. That's why the X in the name AJAX. However, now the format used for send the data is called JSON. We'll talk about it later. Let's see a last example of how AJAX works. We have a search form. We send form. AJAX sends a record to the server. The server sends the query to the database. The database sends back a JSON with the results. The server responds uh, with that JSON. JavaScript understands JSON, so we can structure the received data and show it on the page how we want. All these without stop the application and without reload the page. Learn Ajax is mandatory for anyone that wants to become a first class grades developer. In this course, we'll learn all about Ajax and we'll go deeper in APIs, JSON and more. We recommend you to take a look to the Ruby Basics course, CoffeeScript Foundations and jQuery Basics. If you want to know more about the courses and material we have for you and for free, go to railscanate.com. Do not forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook so you won't miss our exclusive content. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.